Hello, this is Dr. Heidi Horsley, the Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today with one of my very favorite psychologists, Dr. Bob Bauer. I met Dr. Bob, uh, let's see, probably in 2002, when I was about to do my doctoral dissertation, and he really, really helped me to figure out how I wanted to position myself and what I wanted to do, and I did end up doing it on sibling loss. Dr. Bob has worked in this field for many, many years, and he knows a lot about grief and loss, and you've done let's see, a study with men in grief. Yes, um, we actually got together more than 20 years ago, eight men who had experienced all kinds of deaths in their life. Um, the death of a sibling, um, a, a wife, a child, uh, parents, and the eight of them got together and we passed a microphone around and they talked about um, what they experience as men. You know, the whole idea of, as a man, you're supposed to fix things, and you're supposed to figure things out, and so on, and now here you are in a situation that's like, you know, what do I do with this grief? What is grief? And so on. And then, 20 years later, we did a follow-up with, we found six of the eight men, brought them back together, and did a follow-up of what have things been like in the, past 20, in the past 20 years. And what did you find out 20 years later about their grief? Yeah. Well, I think something that you know we all know, which is you know, grief doesn't ever really go away. And that you, know, you never forget this person and that there's still those triggers out there. It's not as intense. One of the men in our group, his name was Don, whose son had died in a playground accident. He was nine years old and he was on a swing and he died and um, Don, you know, felt horrible as a parent. Why would I let my son go to a playground? And, you know, of course you let your kids go out, right? And so 20 years later, I, I said, you know, you talked 20 years ago about guilt. I said, what helped you? And he said, immediately he said, time, time. I just had to think about it again and again and again until my brain didn't have to do it anymore. And so, so constantly processing it and reprocessing it and, and kind of review running the narrative over and over helped him. Yes, absolutely. And that, you know, and that's what we know as hard as it is to kind of lean in to your grief and talk to people about it. And these were a group of men who found support from other men and um, and were able to, you know, share their, you know, what they experienced on, on this video. You know, I teach a class on, on death education and I tell my students it's very powerful when like a group of dads or, or a, along with their wives have gotten together to talk about the death of their children and for some guys here they are you know experiencing their own grief and they look across the room and here's a guy telling their story you know saying what they've been feeling and so then during the break the guy goes up can I talk to you for a minute and they walk out together and suddenly here they are realizing did your wife do this yeah and your other kids they don't want yeah and suddenly you know it's like ah oh, now I got someone who really understands Absolutely, it normalizes it. So, Dr. Bob, one last question. For someone out there that's had a loss, a guy out there who doesn't know how they're going to survive or how they're ever going to find hope, what would you say? Wow. I think number one, uh, find out what, find out about grief and find out about, even though you feel like you're going crazy, um, to understand that that's what grief is. And so find a book, find a video, find, uh, find uh, something online that can help you understand the craziness that you're going through. And then see if you can find that one person, and that's often all it takes, who can listen to you without judgment, who can listen to you without trying to fix it, and just listen to you feel whatever you're feeling. And you know what? This conference that we're at today is a great way because people have been coming to these conferences for years and you know what they feel better as a result of doing it absolutely thank you so much dr bob bauer if you've lost hope please lean on mine and lean on dr bob's thank you and this is dr heidi horsley from the open to hope foundation